Today, I'm going to be flying one of the cheapest flights in the world. The flight costs 6,500 Naira, which is about $7, and is expected to be a 35 minutes flight from Ibadan, Oyo State, to Lagos, Nigeria. For context, $7 will get you a small box of pizza in Lagos, maybe a bowl of wache in Accra. What else can you get with $7? Let me know in the comments. I was able to lock down a flight for $7 in Ibadan, and this is how I did it. I was casually scrolling on Instagram when I saw a post from Green Africa saying they now have flights to Lagos and Ibadan for 6,500 Naira. There were many reactions from various people claiming it's unsafe and expressing their distrust in a flight that cheap. I decided to get on it so I visited the Green Africa website to book my flights. I'm doing a one-way trip so I'm selecting Ibadan for departure and arrival to Lagos. Select the date and hit the search button. As you can see, some other dates here are going for 10,000 Naira but I was lucky enough to find a 6,500 Naira flight for my dates. One thing with budget airlines, when you fly their most basic plan, there's usually a catch. Here, you are only allowed a 7 kg hand luggage and you have to pay for your seat. If your luggage exceeds 7 kg, you have to pay 600 Naira per kg when you get to the airport. I like to travel light so I don't have any extra luggage. I don't need any special assistance either so we are going to skip this step. This is the part where you pick your preferred seat and the prices range from 1000 Naira to 5000 Naira. I'm going to be sitting by the window here because I like to look out the window when I'm flying so I'll select the 1000 Naira seat. As you can see, the flight total at checkout is 7,500 Naira, nothing else added, so um, let's make payments. Now that our flight is booked and confirmed, let's go catch our flights. We are now arriving at the airport here in Alakia area in Ibadan. And today we are flying what is probably the world's cheapest flights to Lagos. Are we going to land? Will the plane be comfortable? I don't know, just yet. After booking the flight, I got curious and did a little research on the airline I was going to fly. Turns out Green Africa was founded in 2015 and they have 380R72600 aircraft, three of which were bought from this company and was delivered to Green Africa between April and June of 2021. And these planes are reported to be about 10 years old, which is pretty decent for a regional plane. As we continue to drive to our gates to check in and board our flights, if it's your first time on the channel, do hit the subscribe button to help us hit our 1000 subscriber goal before the end of the month. I'd really appreciate that you also hit the like button and give this video a thumbs up. This is our check-in counter and it is quite noisy around here. Good morning. My hand luggage was above 7 kg, it was 8.5 kg. He was about to ask me to pay for extra then I told him my laptop was in there. My laptop is inside. I had a similar experience flying value jet some months back, so I know taking out my laptop will remove some 2 kg from my luggage. After confirming that my bag was good to go, I presented my reference number and my ID card and I got my boarding pass. This is my boarding pass. Looks like a receipt. I mean, I'm paying 6,500 Naira for this flight, so who cares? Even if the boarding pass was handwritten, who cares? There's only a few of us here. Uh, the flight is for 11.45 and it's 11.20 right now and we're done with check-in. The scanning machine wasn't working so our bags were being searched manually, a very good way to get away with those more than 100 ml perfumes that wouldn't let you fly with normally. So um, fully checked in and waiting for our flight, the plane is not even here yet because I can see the runway from here, the plane is not here just yet so I'm waiting on the plane to arrive I guess. And, um, the waiting area is pretty small because this airport is not a busy airport. In fact, the scanning machine was not even working. They had to like manually search our bags and everything. So we are the boarding gates waiting for our plane to get there and um, see you on board.
it's about 11 40 a.m and we are preparing to board so what we are doing here is to get our boarding passes validated by presenting our id while some people get off the plane we have to also go through this search which is the final phase before we begin to get on the tarmac and walk to the plane i'll show you what it looks like inside the aircraft shortly but as we walk i want to say a big thank you to the middleman consults for sponsoring this video they are nigeria's most reliable shipping company and they ship to nigeria from the us and uk they also ship from nigeria to 150 countries worldwide in three to six business days visit their website on screen or follow the link in the description below to get to them I've heard many stories about how cramped this aircraft is and how you can barely stretch your hands without hitting the roof of the plane. But to my surprise, this aircraft has a wide enough cabin storage. I've flown some flights before where I've had to keep my carry-on under the seat. I like the fact that the cabin crew are very helpful and polite and very responsive to your needs while on board. The plane is very neat and shows signs of good maintenance. The chairs are well cushioned also and the seats can recline to help you rest your back properly, which is a very good one. The plane also has enough legroom, which I like, and I'm going to be telling you some of the things I don't like at the end of the flight. But for now, let's get ready for takeoff. Thank you for watching in Great Africa. We should represent Pablo Dodds. Once again, you're welcome on board. Please note that there is exit moving behind you in the event of having to evacuate. If I have any behind the hurry mobile issues as they may cause injury. This aircraft was equipped with a low level lighting system following the light along the hall. Can I look at your nearest? So um, the plane is about the same size as the CRJ900 that I gave a review of on this channel some months back um, for ValueJet CRJ900. You can watch that video somewhere. I'll put the link up there. It's about the same size. Um, it's clean. But the difference is this is a propeller plane and this is the very first time I'm ever flying a propeller plane. So, um, fighting. It was really cloudy at takeoff. It was almost as if it was going to rain. But when we got into the clouds, it got really bright because the planes fly above the clouds that produces rain. I had to reach for my sunglasses so I could look outside the window. I was given a complimentary bottle of water during the flights. It was barely 10 minutes and we were already preparing to commence descending. The pilot announced we couldn't land due to runway traffic in Lagos, so we had to go around for a couple of minutes. We are landing now and it's raining in Lagos as we descend. A safe flight is any flight that arrives its destination. As 6,500 Naira flight landed, I have no idea what conditions the engines are in, but to the best of my knowledge, it's as safe as a 50,000 Naira flight booked on the same airline. Green Africa is a budget airline and ridiculous pricing is a common marketing technique among budget airlines, just like Ryanair in Europe and Spirit Airlines in America. We just touched down MME1 in Lagos, uh, it was a smart flight. It was really chill and um, they even gave us water. I mean, that's very, very. I think total flight time was about 30 minutes. The people at the back, they have to like disembark first before we leave, and the people in front of us. Did you enjoy your flights? Will you fly this again? Will you do this again? Thumbs up if you will fly this again. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Have a nice week, sir. We deplaned on the tarmac and began to walk into the airport in Lagos. Um, the plane does not have any entertainment system, which means you have to have your own music on your phone 
or your own movies on your ipad which does not matter to me because apparently this is the shortest flight i've ever been on in my entire life and i didn't need any entertainment while on this plane you might not too and um, the headrest is not as comfortable as some of the other ones but again it's a very short flight which those things might not be necessary let me know in the comments what you think of green africa the aircraft the airports and if you've had a personal experience okay so this is lagos this is the airport in lagos the local airport in lagos uh i should be traveling through here in another few weeks maybe in another month and um I'll probably do a tour of this airport as well and show you what the local airport in lagos also looks like probably the cheapest flight in the world but the cheapest flight in nigeria as of now to lagos with green africa but it was comfortable and um i hope they keep this price so i can do this again and again and again and again so um hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to share this video and i'll see you on the next one keep spreading positivity peace out